is your boy Humble Ziggy. I'm back in here with another video, and today we're gonna be reacting to Crip Night in September official music video. Now, like I said, now, like I said before for this one, he he recently got a million subscribers, and I reacted to the first part of it, which was the Crip, but which is the Us music video. <clears throat> If you haven't gone watch that, go check it out. Cause and it's basically like and to catch you up, it's basically like a horror theme film, horror theme like film to celebrate his one million subscribers. So and he said he was gonna get us to one in September. So here it is, so night in September. And a couple things. I know this is not how I normally set up myself and so but I gotta do a reaction video for the movie and so this is that and just and just so happens that I moved in September. You gotta you got the part two which is night in September. It's night and it's raining so this seems like it's a good time to react to it. So we gotta check it out. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So, the, if you haven't catched the first, the ending of it, of the us, this is a little spoiler. If you're gonna react to it, just know that this was the last part. This was basically the ending of it, where Crip had the bloody get dead girl in the van in the back of the trunk, and I don't know where he's gonna take her. So, let's we'll see what happens. Just saying. Well, I'm not saying he's saying about it a lot. But it's like this. This is this how some music has to be. It has to tell a story. And obviously, he's telling one right here about three. Now I see why it's called in September. Because three years ago in September, he met a girl. He. No, nigga, would it last when I was in your west before I met your dad? And man, the shit is sad. But Sorry if he's going explicit, but hey, he's expressing his story, so 
don't get triggered at me i'm just the fact you went for months without the use of a fucking tan pack man that shit was scary even though i knew it never nothing in you but you tell me i think i'm pregnant no i know i'm pregnant i'm getting more than sickness and my belly stretching but it turned out your hormones are fucked up you somehow thought that i would leave you stuck that's when you told me daniel would never do this plenty of times we thought i was having this kid but his chest was clitting him with tits and lips man i still get pissed when i think about it bitch even back then you were speaking about him but i paid no attention to what was allowed in well the signs were there the whole time but fake love can make your eyes so blind i thought what we had would last a lifetime but your ass lied so now you gotta die what if i treated you like you treated me went through your phone every single motherfucking opportunity don't you come into with me you're the one that didn't trust me thought it was fucking every other thought in the sea wait a second don't let me get ahead of the story that was the first six months we got plenty more of it to go see where were we oh yeah that's right another year ago and i tried to commit suicide so my life still flashing before my eyes the memory of our first fight has just went by then i remember that next september you drove and now we're gonna go see a guy who just happened to be an ex-boyfriend the one he cheated on me with but back then he was just an old friend oh man i get really pissed and so did you but you got mad at me because i got mad at you what the fuck was i supposed to do be okay all right babe you can go and hang out with the no flame you're an hour away and nobody knows that you're there i'm sure you're going to talk about how you dyed your hair now here we are <laughs> dyed your hair that's the thing you see that and people and ladies think that men they just wonder why us men always like be mad at y'all that's all because some of y'all women always want to cheat on us just because we're trying to be loyal guys to you now nah, you ain't with that look it's like you saying now nah, it's like you don't you really don't know a lot about us you, you know that some you think all men are just macho and so on so no there's, there's honestly some honest guys out there who's really trying to settle down with you but no you just want to fling in this and fling that that's why some of y'all women don't get this and it's like this i'm speaking my truth i don't care who gets triggered it's like this that's why some of y'all women don't get treated right because some of y'all want to be treated like the hood niggas y'all want to be treated like ghetto girls and so what's wrong with being treating a queen a clip like a real queen queen what queens do queens treat themselves with respect get others to get their respect and the thing is respect is earned it's not giving they try to earn people's respect those those what queens will do in my honest opinion Six months later when the same thing happened to me An ex-girlfriend hits me up to hang out You see that I told her no but still accused me of cheating Even though I have the receipts And now it's the peak of this bullshit Cause you got pissed at me for weeks Thinking I was underneath some seats with someone else But bitch that's what you were doing Can't you see what the fuck I can't Exactly it literally Sorry. That's literally what they will be always doing They be talking about oh us sorry. We are, I'm the one who's cheating on you When you're the exact same one doing it to me Like how you gonna throw, how you gonna get mad at me when you're the one who's cheated me in the first place? I'm like, what? Hell no. Like, get the hell out of here, get out. And it's a man into a guilty one. I never wanted it to be like this, to love you. But you made it to the point where I can't even trust you. It's kind of funny that you waited until I graduated college to tell me that you no longer want to be with me. But that was just for the moment. You just wanted a break so you could try another dude and fucking keep me your strength. And that's exactly what happened. Need I remind you of the trip to Orlando when you found out we lied to you? Then you tried to get back with me. But it felt weird because you know that you were a liar too. I can read it on your face. Things were different. We no longer had faith. And you just seemed too distant. And I didn't change a bit. It was all you. But you acted like it was me. And it would fall through. Even though that summer I went to a jeweler and I picked out a brand new ring i had asked your dad if i could marry you and he said that it was the best thing but on may 15th we sat down at the back of the house on the porch swing and you told me that you wanted a break and it was all you and it wasn't me and i broke down and had to leave your house and your mom asked her what had happened to me but you lied to her and said i broke up with you but we both know that you broke up with me you wanted to be an angel on the rise and didn't want them to see that their baby girl lied but their baby girl lied with another man but she was dating me and i don't understand how you can sleep at night how the fuck can you keep any sort of peace of mind how the fuck can you think what you did to me was even sort of justified you fucking cheated and you broke my trust for the past two years i've been so fucked up it affected my brain it affected my strife it affected my ways i thought in my mind it affected my days it affected my nights it affected every single aspect of my life it affected my pain it affected my strife it affected my say not just of my diamond fuck you and i both already had both our kids names picked out you and i both already had our homes and our whole lives planned out but i got kicked out 
The last thing that my grandma told me before she closed her eyes for eternity. She was sad that she never got to meet my kids. That was six months ago and it burns in me. Because of you, I can never give it that. I wasted three years of my life and I can't get it back. So flashback to the back over my eyes. I just sent you a text asking why you don't want to be with me. Don't you lie? So you called me and I heard you cry. You said you had to tell me something that you never wanted to. But you just couldn't deal with the lie. I took the bag off my head. And I drove to meet you at the church gate. And you got in the passenger seat again. Just like you did on our first date. But this time... Cause he spit the hopes on my line And you led me to believe that I had a chance to save our love from dying That's when you told me that you cheated, slept with your ex And kept them under wraps just so I wouldn't see it Told me that I couldn't treat you any better But felt like my love for you had depleted And that's when you picked up the phone And you called and you took and fought You felt like you were all alone On the cold September night And you left my heart torn and so broke And you drove off into the night And that's when I went on home To put a bullet between my eyes before I do that, I had to get you, and that's why we're here now. I had to tell the story of how you fucked my life up, but now there's a big crowd. You ain't give me memories, you give me scars, a low self-esteem and a broken heart. I know you're scared, but just remember, you caused this that night in September. Ah! Damn, I think he killed himself. That's the end of the video guys, but damn. Right now I'm just alright, so you you're not gonna see it now, but right now here's what it's his name. I'm reading the description from his from the video and it's saying this song took me close to three years to write and is one of my and is one of the most difficult songs I have ever had to written had to write him sorry this is part two of my part three storyline as a thank you for one million subscribers like i said before in the, in the beginning let me know how you guys feel about it so but to me personally man that just shows you that you got to me personally that just shows you you gotta watch out for who you're gonna date man because you don't know if they could be the right one no matter if they, no matter if they seem like that, or guys, it's like this. The most innocent people always seem to be the most dishonest. Cause one minute they gon', cause one minute they gon' say that they trust you, they love you, and all that, and so and so. But then the next minute you look, they, they hooking up with uh, some other person behind your back. And the thing is that they're gonna lie about you when you and they damn well know that it was you who started it in the first place. That's why that's why most people don't go into relationships because they don't wanna be they don't want their heart be broken and so and so or their like their trust get broken and so and so. Cause most and it's, and the thing what he's saying about that last year he gone he almost attempted suicide. That happens to a lot of people. That literally happens to a lot of people who can come over relationships. Cause one minute they thought that the person that they were gonna be with or so and so would be the would be with them forever and so, and they thought it would be true. But then when you dig up what's happening, some people just wanna off themselves. But they should never think that. Cause there's like a million other people in the world. You can't just kill yourself over one person rejecting you. And it's like this. That's why people should always believe in themselves before they believe in others. Because before you believe in others, always make sure you believe in yourself and what you what you know in your heart and so on and so. But that's the end of the video guys. But let me know what you think down in the comments below because I want to see what y'all think about it. But yeah, I wanted to give you guys, and like I said before, I wanted to give you guys a reaction video because of the move I just did. And just know that, just give me a couple of weeks or so and so because we're still storing out some stuff. But trust me, once I get it all sorted out, we're going to get back to the good reaction so and so. 
But like I said, it's been. A, let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's been a boy, Homo Ziggy. Signing out. Stay positive and keep the vibes up. Hang on.